Inference is the last stage of the machine learning pipeline. This is where you take the model that you trained and deploy it into services to make predictions. What comes out of the machine learning pipeline and frameworks are computational graphs that are incredibly complex. These are gigantic computational graphs. And there are so many different types of neural network architectures that the computer science of compiling these computational graphs into a target machine to run as fast as possible with all the different types of numeric precisions, incredibly complex problem. We created an optimizing compiler, TensorRT. We're now in our seventh generation. This generation can handle CNNs and transformers, and now we can handle RNNs as well. TensorRT 7 includes over a thousand optimized kernels. And in fact, our developers could do the same for themselves and create all kinds of custom kernels and custom neural networks. We support precisions from FP32, FP16, all the way to 8-bit and 4-bit integer. TensorRT has been a huge success. The number of developers that use TensorRT increased 10x. The world's top 300 internet services now have NVIDIA GPUs in their data centers to do inference. It just kind of shows you how many industries deep learning and AI is going to impact. One of the most important applications that we can now enable is conversational AI. It is one of the most challenging inference tasks because conversational AI requires interactive performance. The elements that make up a conversational AI pipeline has achieved tremendous breakthroughs recently. Starting from ASR, automatic speech recognition, to natural language understanding, to text-to-speech, speech synthesis. And now it's possible for us to imagine for the very first time having an interactive, low latency, conversational AI pipeline. However, the application is very complex still. The models are state of the art. Training those models take a tremendous amount of computation and the ability to put together all of the models end to end on top of a computing platform fully accelerated is something the world's never done before until now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're announcing today a new application framework we call Jarvis. And because it has the ability to connect into Omniverse, we have the ability to create an interactive 3D chatbot. One of the AI models that makes this entire experience possible is what we call audio to face. It takes an audio input and it has learned how to animate a geometric mesh to animate facial expressions while talking. That then drives our computer graphic system in Omniverse and creates an interactive chatbot. Let me now show you our AI model audio to face. The speech here is coming from a rapper, one of our employees, John Delabana, and it is really fantastic. Take a look. Living for the now, long as time allows. Time to keep on switching different styles. Keep creative on a cloud. Sweat is on my brow, cause I'm running on these tracks just to keep them running back. You know the drill, the court and back. And I've been practicing my craft. Dedicate this play to Kobe. What could be a bigger legacy than making it a story? Every day gets better, no doubt. So we gotta hold out. I got a dream to pack the show to sold out. It's all about the progression. The daily grind is a test. And someday it's less of a grind. And more like a day with a blessing. If you having real problems, I feel bad for you, son. It's like 99. I promise many share the same one, yeah So keep your head up and get up I bet tomorrow is better It's driving to BUIC Follow that to the letter Once we have audio to face Then we can connect it to our conversational AI model Where you can ask it a question It would understand the question Answer the question And then synthesize speech from that Which goes into our audio to face model Which animates and drives a 3D model We've created a demonstration we call Misty Our first interactive 3D chatbot Hello. Hi, I'm Misty. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. What are you here for? I'm here to give you the latest weather information around the world, tell you interesting facts about meteorology, and keep you company. Should I bring an umbrella tomorrow? It is not expected to rain in Santa Clara, California tomorrow afternoon. What is the hottest city in the world? The hottest city in the world is Mecca, in Saudi Arabia, where temperatures can reach 122 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the coldest city? The coldest city in the world is Yakutsk in Russia with temperatures around minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter months. Tell me something about lightning. We see lightning first, because light travels faster than sound. How come you know so much about weather? I know the weather information from the internet. I have lived for a long time and have been talking about the weather for as long as I know. <laughs> Where are you from, Misty? 
I'm from a place called Omniverse. <laughs> Who made you? I am created by the wonderful scientists of NVIDIA. What powers you? I am powered by NVIDIA GPU and the CUDA neurons inside of them. Thank you, Misty. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you. As you could see, the ability to have an interactive conversation requires the conversation AI to process the speech, the natural language understanding, synthesize, and also render the graphics as fast as possible. And you have to process the entire pipeline end to end from speech recognition, language, language understanding, text to speech, as well as driving and generating the computer graphics in just a few hundred milliseconds in order to feel like you're having an interactive conversation. And that's what NVIDIA Jarvis is about, a multimodal conversational AI service framework that simplifies the creation and the development of conversational AI services. It includes state-of-the-art models that has been pre-pipelined into these Helms charts, optimized to run on NVIDIA's Triton inference server, which runs on top of our GPUs, and the performance is interactive, and the entire pipeline end-to-end -end is only a few hundred milliseconds. But there's more. Jarvis comes with pre-trained state-of-the-art models. These state-of-the-art models have been trained with a great deal of data and a lot of computation. In fact, what's available in NGC, the NVIDIA GPU Cloud, represents several hundred thousand DGX training hours. If you had one DGX, it would take you something like 10 to 20 years to be able to process all of the data necessary to train these models. We've done that for you. And then it comes with a new tool called NEMO, which takes the pre-trained model and augments it with your data. Your data could, because of a particular domain, it could be in healthcare or insurance or financial services, or uh, maybe it's a call center uh, for a particular business. And there's special language or special vocabulary that Jarvis needs to learn. And so you would take that data and you would train, retrain the Jarvis models with this tool we call NEMO. This end-to-end -end pipeline from pre-trained models, retraining with NEMO, and then the application of all of these state-of-the-art models all put together in a Helms chart running on a service on top of Triton, this entire end-to-end -end system we call Jarvis. Conversational AI is going to automate conversations and it's gonna make it possible for us to deploy automated services in all kinds of new applications, whether it's video conferencing, call centers, smart speakers. One of my favorite applications is video conferencing. When you have a group conference, one person can talk at a time. It would be nice sometimes if we can kind of hear multiple people talking. So wouldn't it be amazing if whenever anybody talks, it's picked up in close caption or translated in real time, or the end of a conference, a simple summary and transcription is done. Video conferencing with a conversational AI agent is going to be really transformed. We know that the number of people who are calling into call centers these days is growing, and many of the call centers have people wait half an hour to much longer. Jarvis Conversational AI is gonna be one of the most important real-time inference applications. So that's NVIDIA AI. It is now end-to-end -end fully accelerated. From data processing, with the amount of data growing exponentially, Spark is more important than ever, and now it's accelerated by NVIDIA. Second, the deep learning and the model training pipeline, we have accelerated for a long time. One of the particular applications, Recommender Systems, is so complicated, we decided to create an application framework just for it, so that we can democratize Recommender Systems. We call it NVIDIA Merlin. And then lastly, Inference. TensorRT 7.0 is here. The number of people who are downloading it and using it is really growing, and we're super excited about that. We decided to create an application framework for every company to be able to create state-of-the-art conversational AI models. We call that NVIDIA Jarvis. This end-to-end -end acceleration platform and some of the reference applications is what we call NVIDIA AI.